there is nothing bigger or nothing smaller each activity what we do we need to take up with the same amount of interest and uh, dedication only then we will be able to achieve because space technology as a entity when you take bringing in the fruits of space technology for both the development in the country and also the societal benefits it has a huge role to play ours is the only country where end to end activities are done from launching vehicles to building satellites building instruments and bringing the applications to the users we have been clear all along is while we build our capability and capacity if there is some excess capacity available we want to make use of it both for commercial and also supporting activities outside our country so it's in this context two of the major things happened 104 satellites in one go which really captured the attention of the international community that to coming after mars made an insertion of the satellite into the mars orbit and then we also did uh, last year one more very significant activity of providing communication capability to our neighboring countries as a gift for ensuring effective use of uh, communication for interconnecting the region and also enabling them to make use of uh, our geospatial data in their domain and that's where 104 when it went up in a single go it really captured the attention of the entire world just to put the uh, things in perspective there on the night of that launch we had a video which showed the release of all these 104 satellites this video was put on the web by morning 10 o'clock you can see that about 100 countries one and a half lakh downloads had happened that is the kind of curiosity and interest it had generated there currently the most challenging task was actually to increase the pace of our activity see primarily because while we had demonstrated that it is possible to do things from space with its communication navigation or remote sensing what was needed is for the country's demands we need to bring it in sufficient numbers so that is where we concentrated what we are trying to see is we are looking at it as a country not just isro as an organization or a government organization because what we see today is we have tremendous capability and potential and if we are able to build the capacity in the industry then the industry can actually capture a portion of the global market what you are seeing and the kind of application that india has already generated using these geospatial technologies is quite uh, significant and it has happened in a very large way there is scope for the geospatial entities and the industry to really capture this tweak it to the requirements of uh, the other countries and provide solutions and this is where we have tried to put in our effort to bring in more and more industry and dialogue with them and try to see how we can actually enable the total industry now i think this part of it it's always there you always want to do more and more but then you also have to realize that you have finite resources and you have finite time and this thing so what i would say is the primary objective of increasing the pace of activity in all the domains in which isro was working was one of the key things and to a great extent i think uh, we are seeing that happening now space is a new frontier you talk of space tourism space adventure space exploration space exploitation all of that apart from providing the benefits uh, for observation and setting up infrastructure in space to the development on the earth itself so it's a huge opportunity and it calls for very innovative and new solutions new solutions of trying to make the travel faster less time new types of propulsion technology and new types of application and then including if you are looking at for future the colonization etc the opportunity is tremendous and the time is ripe not only within the country but also globally